Hello everybody, my name is Jared Lewis with Investors Relate and today I will show you how to do stop markets and stop limits uh, to protect your positions when they go the opposite way. Uh, the reason for a stock market or a stock, stock limit to be set is so if the position goes in the opposite direction, direction that you're expecting it to go, it can protect you from losing a large amount on your positions. Just say for instance, if you get in a position that you pay $1 for and you're expecting that position to take your money up and that position starts to go negative and your money starts to go down to 90 cents, 80 cents, uh, you know, 70 cents. For instance, if you set a stop loss on your position uh, at 90 cents, when that position goes down 10 percent, it'll actually uh, it'll actually automatically sell it for you. And in order for that to happen, you have to set a stop market for it to guarantee the sale. And the difference between a stock market and a stop limit, a stock mark, a stop market is where the uh, order will be filled at the market price, whereas the stop limit, the order will be filled at a limit price. But the thing about the stop limit, uh, the stop limit isn't guaranteed because if the stock drops uh, fast and it misses the limit price, or if there are orders, a lot of orders sitting at the limit price and euros doesn't fill, then you'll be stuck in the position. So if you wanted to guarantee getting out of a position, if a stock is dropping fast, you might want to set a stock market. But the thing about a stock market is the stock market will uh, sell it for the market price. So if you're trying to sell it for 90, you're hoping to sell it for 90 and the stock soon drops quick down to 85 cents then the stock market is going to sell it for whatever the uh, market price, which is the 85 cents. So I'm just going to show you how to do this in TD Ameritrade. If you're using, uh, this is a TD Ameritrade mobile app. If you're using other apps, you can also do this in other apps. It's fairly the same. Probably looks a little different, but it's fairly the same. So you can do this when you're entering a position or when you're already in a position. So just say, for instance, we're entering a position. So let's enter... Let's get a familiar name here on my watch list. Uh, let's do Square. So a lot of people know Square. Uh, so let's do Square. We'll click Square here. I will actually click at the bottom where you see Trade. If you're on an Android, it may be at the top. But wherever you enter a position, click the Trade to enter the position. So we'll click Trade here. And I'm going to show you how to do this with options. So I'll uh, type in Square up here. And the reason I'm showing options is because we do a lot of option trading in the Investors Relate group. So we'll cl click square here. And then we'll view option chain like we're about to order a position. And we'll just select a strike here. So we'll do the 220 strike for $6. So we'll click on it, ask. All right. So when we get here, we are actually going to... So when we get here, we're going to, uh, so if we were, we were going to buy this position, if we wanted to do a limit stop, we could actually change, let's change the contracts to one. Uh, the mid price on here, uh, 615 and 635, we're looking at about 625 mid price where we can probably fill this. So order type, we're going to change this order type to stop limit so when you see the price and the act price when you're about to order this what that simply means is the price is the limit when you're about to buy this the price you put in is the price you want to pay for this to get into the position uh, the act price is the price you want to set for the stop limit so for instance if I said I wanted to set my stop limit at 10 percent well 10 percent of 625 will be uh what 62 i think 62 cents so i would set this i would say 625 minus 62 uh let's do that in my head that's 25 15 05 95 85 75 65 uh 63 so that'll be 563 would be 10%. Uh, if I'm off a little bit, forgive me. 
So basically, if you wanted to enter this position, you'll say basically what this position is saying is I want to buy one contract at 625. And when I get in the contract, if it drops to 563, then I want it to sell. All right. So you will review order and place order. And we're not going to uh, place the order because uh, this account only has one hundred and four dollars in it. So we can't afford this order and the market is closed. So we still can't uh, place this order. But this is how this would look if you wanted to. Uh, if you wanted to uh, set a stop limit and the thing about a stop limit is, like I said, if this if you get in this for six twenty five, it drops uh, from six twenty five to say, just say it start dropping fast and then. You get close to, like, say, if you get to 580 and then it drops from 580 to 550 because it's a big sell off, then this may not get filled because it's a stop limit. It's a guaranteed price you want to get out at. So it may not get filled. There's no guarantee that a stop limit would get filled. If you want to be guaranteed, you want to do a stock market. And I'm going to show you how to do a stock market. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to open a position with a stock market. And then I show you how to do a stop limit while you're already in a position and a stop market while you're already in a position. So let's exit out of this. So this is how you would do this. You will put this in like this. This simply means, again, you'll purchase this for 625. Once the stock drops to 563, it'll automatically sell. Not guaranteed because this is a stop limit. I want to stress that. And you'll just review order and place order. And then, you know, you'll be able to get in this position. So. All right, so let's clear here and we'll go back to square. And just to keep things a little not confusing, we're going to do the same contract. So we're going to do the 220. We're going to click on the X here. All right, and then we're going to set a stop market. So a stop market, when you set a stock market, your act price, your X price would be your sale price, the price you wanted to act. And the reason you don't have to uh, enter a price because once you push this through, it's going to buy for the market price. So you don't have to put a price in to purchase it at because it's a market order. So once you review and place order, it'll just feel at whatever the market value of it is. So if the market value is 625, 630, it'll feel there, but you'll still set your 563 here. So you'll set your 563. That's 10%. If you wanted to do 20%, you'll just calculate 20% time your purchase price which is your purchase price is up here. So you can say 6.25 times 0.20%. And then you subtract that amount from 6.25. And that's how you'll get your percentage that you want to uh, stop it. So with the stop market, though, uh, once you uh, put this in, you hit review order, you hit place order. Now, if this option drops, like we said, on the stop limit, if it drops to 580, then it drops to 555 or something. Then it's going to sell it at 555 if it doesn't fill at 563. So what a stop market does is it guarantees you a fill, but it's at the market value. So the fill may be lower than 563. It may be 560. It may be 555, but it's going to guarantee the fill. So if you're doing a stop market and you're saying that, OK, I really want to uh, only lose 10 percent max. So you might want to set your stop market at 5 percent. If you say I want to lose 20 percent max, you might want to set your stop market at 15 percent. And these percentages you'll have to calculate. Or if you know the dollar amount that you want the position to get down to, you can just type in the dollar amount and you don't have to do percentages. But with the stop market, uh, it'll work the same way. You just don't have to put the purchase price in there because it's going to buy it at the market value. So you'll just put the uh, the price you want this to act on your review order and place order. So once you get in a position with the stock market, you'll be secured. So if you get in something crazy that drops like crazy, then, you know, it'll automatically sell for you. So you won't be stuck in the position losing 30, 40, 50, 60 percent. And that's the thing I learned uh, when I'm in a position, I may go up 50 percent. And then if I hold the position to try to get more profits, it may go down 10 percent and 20 percent and 30 percent. And the next thing you know, I'm down 60 percent because for some reason, your emotions won't let you sell. Sometimes if you've seen profits, you're just sitting there hoping that you get the profits back. And what the stop market does and the stop stop limit does, it doesn't play off hope. It just gets you out of the position when you need to be out of it. 
So that's the uh, great thing about a stop loss and a stop uh, a stop limit in the stop market. So just say, for instance, you're already in a position. Now, I'm not in a position, but I can show you if I was in a position. So if I was in a position, you say I was in the same position. And then I would say sell to close because I would already have bought the position. So I'll change the action. If I'm in the position, this action should be at sell to close. And then I'll do one. And we can do 625 here. We're, we're going to do a, a stop limit sell. So the act price on the stop loss, you'll have to set it for, just say no. You'll say if you want to make profit on this position, right? So your act price would be, you'll say you want to sell this at $8. So if it goes up to 8 then it'll fill. But if it goes down to 563 which is at 10%, then it'll feel there. So, you know, to kind of have some peace of mind where you don't have to really watch it every day. Just say not even eight dollars. Say you want to make ten percent profit on this. So six twenty-five plus sixty-two. Uh do we say sixty-two or sixty-three? So six twenty-five at six eighty-five, eighty-eight. Just say six eighty-eight. So if we want to make ten percent profit on here, we'll set the close price for six eighty-eight. And then the act price will be on the stop limit would be 563. So just say if it goes up to 688, that's even with the close price. If it goes past 688, it might not feel you exactly at 688. It'll it'll feel you above 688. So with the act price 563, uh when it falls down to 563, uh then you're expecting to get off, but if it drops past below 563, you'll still be in it because your your order didn't feel. So you want to be careful when you're doing the uh, the uh, stop limits and then you'll do review to order and then you'll do place order. And then with a with a stop, I mean, a stop market while you're in a position, you're just going to set the act price. So you'll set the act price. And the thing is, you can't set this to sell at profit on the stop market. You have to close it on your own. So if you want to close this position, you will have this set at uh, the act price. But if you want to go in and close this position, you'll have to go in and just close the position when it hit hits a certain when it hits a certain level. So you'll be able to. Uh, yeah. So this is basically uh, just kind of walking through the stop stop limit and the stock stop market. And hopefully this can help you just get through your trading, help you make uh, help you not take as many losses as you normally would because you kind of have some type of protection there and help you uh, just become a better trader overall. So thank you for tuning in uh, and best of trading.